And hello from the Midlands of England, the venue for this match is Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Newcastle United. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. So they start at 11 for Newcastle United. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre-backs. But it does enable you to play two strikers up front. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the match. And this confrontation is underway. Douglas Luiz. McGinn. Anwar El Ghazi. Failed to keep hold of it. And the keeper can gather. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Joel Linton Ritchie under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him Shelby Almiron well he did his job defensively opportunity it is and a goal 1-0 and what a fast start they've made to this game We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box and he's never going to miss that. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Traore. Jack Grealish. Bertrand Traore has it. Douglas Luiz. McGinn. And the perfect position to read it. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Clears it away. Watkins. Grealish. McGinn. the volley well to catch it like that you've got to have really good technique and oh so close well you can sense the frustration growing on the touchline Derek he knows that was an opportunity to get back into this
Shelby. Matt Ritchie. Ball with Shelby. Miguel Almiron. Well, he played that one really well. Ritchie. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Now they've lost it. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Shelby. Ritchie here. And teammates to play it to. Joel Linton. Shelby. Real danger. And successfully cut out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Grealish. McGinn. El Ghazi. Target with it. Chance to play it in. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Traore. He's using his strength to good effect. Miguel Almiron. Douglas Luiz. Ollie Watkins. It's with Douglas Luiz. Traore. Watkins. Bertrand Traore has it. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Wonderful chance. Nicely saved. Well, they are behind, but can they give themselves a boost with this corner? Well, it's a nervy affair out there on the pitch. It really is. But what about that on the touchline? Rather him than me. Played into the centre of the box. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? And the short third. Douglas Luis. Well, possibilities in the centre. McGinn. Traore. Matt Target. Making progress. Well, couldn't keep it. Newcastle possession stats are not too great, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Jack Grealish. Ollie Watkins. John McGinn. Matt Target. That's a good-looking ball. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. The cross is on. And he cuts in from the wing. Dangerous looking attack. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked, and rightly punished, schoolboy stuff. Well, let's have another view of that goal.
the first half here comes to an end I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far well there's never a bad time to score a goal but just before half time can be crucial and he's got his team back in this game what can he produce in the second half The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Miguel Almiron. It's with Isaac Hayden. Almiron. Murphy. Can he play it in? Sam Aksima. Moving the ball effectively. Hayden. Ritchie. Ball with Shelby. It's opening up for them. Shelby. Tremendous challenge. John McGinn Ollie Watkins passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead Jack Grealish it is a decent looking attack here opportunity to deliver the cross it looks promising takes it on a chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. And firing it into the area. Can he find the angle? Gives it a go, and the keeper stretching to deny him. And over comes the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Tyrone Mings. Can he put it in? And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Miguel Almiron. It's with Isaac Hayden. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can he put them in front? Really important tackle. Aston Villa totally dominating possession in the last 15 minutes. They really have put the pressure on. You feel their play deserves a goal, but will they get one? They need to just be a little bit better, a little bit more clinical. And they will make the change now. Douglas Luis. It's with El Ghazi. I must say, this looks promising. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. So, 20 minutes to go.
Ollie Watkins might be onto something with that ball. Matt Target will take it away. He won the ball. Joel Linton. Shelby. Richie here. Losing possession a bit easily. Chance to run at them. Traore. And options in the center. Douglas Luis. Less than convincing defending. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Jamal Lascelles. Ball with Shelby. How can they nudge in front late on here? Saint Maxima. A fine block. And he, well, offside here. Such a pity for them. Chance was on. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Esri Konsa. Cash. Barkley with it. Ollie Watkins. Lascelles. Sam Maxima. Five minutes to go. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, as we see again, Derek, it's quite simple. Keep the ball, don't give it away. It's a terrible clearance. And after that, they're under pressure and they never recover. Bad goals give away. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. McGinn. It's with El Ghazi. Well, high marks for that pass. Cash. Do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. Almiron. On to Lascelles. Sam Maxima. Dummett. And it's with Hendrik. So the final whistle is sounded, and a day of disappointment for Villa comes to an end, Lee. Well, it was such a tight affair for most of the game and to lose right at the end like that will be very hurtful. But it's a learning curve. Maybe next time they will play to the final whistle. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he did have a good performance, didn't he? But it's all about snatching that late goal to grab the win.